We're really pleased here at the LCF Group to have Roy Justice's exact duplicate of John Titus's Mark 8. John's computer is now on display at the Smithsonian Institution. Roy did a wonderful job in constructing this computer. Well, here we are in the Floyd Professional Center, and Roy Justice has brought his Mark 8 over that he built. I want to have him this tell us a little bit about this. Program at by setting the switches for data and for operations, and you get information back out from the LEDs on the display. And tell me a little about the, your idea when you decided to build it and so forth. Well, I was at uh, I was uh, looking through eBay one day, and I saw a advertisement for a kit to build uh, a Mark 8. I didn't know what a Mark 8 was, so I Googled it. And I found out it was a computer that was built by a guy at Virginia Tech, the school I went to. And I also found out that it was a hard kit to build, so I decided to try it myself. And that's how I uh, got, that's how I decided to build a Mark 8. Here you see the July 1974 edition of Radio Electronics Magazine. And on the front cover is the Mark 8 microcomputer. John Titus, a graduate student at Virginia Tech, built this computer, designed and built it while he was a student in 1974 and published the construction article in Radio Electronics on how to build your own personal microcomputer. John is given credit for creating the first home computer. He's received many awards for this fine computer and the one you see here on the cover of Radio Electronics now resides in the Smithsonian Institution. Well, the uh, PC boards actually came with the kit, but I had to stuff them. Well, I, I put uh, everything on sockets so that it could be easily serviced. And uh, uh, made the faceplate, uh, put the letters on it, and uh, uh, glued the support for the switches and everything. And I made the uh, uh, cage for the cars to reside in. And uh, Everything is as close as I could get it to the original machine. Now this is a copy of the original machine that John yes, has in, yes. in a Smithsonian it, it, now, actually. It, it, everything on it can, uh, is, is on the original machine, too. Mm -hmm. I didn't offer anything. That is that is really great. And, and this is so recent. This is what's fascinating. You did this just... To, yes. They're still, the guy is still selling kits, as far as I know. He just sells them a bunch at a time. And uh, I, I suppose in a couple of months he might be on again selling them. Uh, the mm -hmm. Mark 8 was the machine that showed uh, the manufacturers that they could actually sell, sell to the general public. And when they did that, all these other machines became, uh, 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 were marketed. And it was the power of, of the marketplace that actually drove uh, uh, the progress uh, forward from there. Everything that you see today, all your MP3 players and uh, your iPods and uh, all your super PCs, they uh, owe it to that machine right there. They'd be years behind if it weren't for that machine. They'd yeah. be years behind where they are now. John was pretty foresighted in designing that machine. Well, well, Roy did a really marvelous job making an exact duplicate of John's machine that's on display at the Smithsonian, the Mark 8 microcomputer. But he also put a lot of work into documenting his work with a wonderful manual, which includes uh, a story of how he uh, did his work, a copy of the original publication, lots of documentation, and about 40 pages that he put together on construction, construction hints and tips. And he did a beautiful job. I'll just show you a little bit of this beautiful job here. You can see all the different things that he put into his manual. Really, really, really nice. Well, his manual is not only a construction manual, but he talks about the purpose of this and what he's doing is adding information to the original 47-page construction article that John wrote, but he's provided us with a CD that has Al Singer's Mark 8 newsletters on it as well. 
So he's put together a package here, not only a wonderful copy of the computer. Roy's taken his computer to hobby computer shows and really generated a lot of interest. And of course, we're very happy to have his copy of John Titus's Mark 8 microcomputer here in the LCF Group Historical Computer Collection. And we invite you to visit Floyd and see our beautiful Blue Ridge Mountain Town and see our small collection in the Floyd Professional Center. Thank you for watching our little video.